This episode was made possible in part by Homer and the T. Rowe Price College Savings Plan. Hey everyone, it's me, Molly! Molly, up the Nolly. Let's go! She's Molly, up the Nolly. <laughs> By plane, a sled, or snowshoe, she is ready to explore. From Captover down to Juno, always wanting to learn more. Together with her best friend, to be always by her side. And Trini! Discovering the outdoors on adventures day and night. Come along with Wally. Wally. Through fields of fire, we come along with Wally. Wally. From Tonda to the sea. Must see Joe. Let's go! Wally up the night. Exciting day because we're going berry picking, which in my family is sort of like a vacation. We're out the whole day. We canoe, we sing. I don't know about you, but we put blueberries, junk, and everything, which means we have to pick a lot of junk from our super secret berry place. It's so secret, there isn't even a road. You have to go by river. Why are you whispering? No reason. Talking about your super secret berry place, huh? Maybe <laughs> and maybe not. Ready, Maul? Ready. Thanks for watching the store for us, Tui. Happy to help. Oh, my mom said to be sure to pack extra repellent because we've had so much rain. Right. The mosquitoes will be swarming. I'll get the bottle. Also, Auntie Midge told me to tell you she's really looking forward to her muffins. Okay, bye, Tui. And so am I. 19 jars of jam on the wall, 19 jars of jam. You take one down, pass it around. 18 jars of jam on the wall. 18 jars of jam on the wall. 18 jars of jam. You take one down, pass it around. 17 jars of jam on the wall. I can taste them now. Blueberry cakes, blueberry cookies, blueberry muffins. I'm fine. No, there was a mosquito on your back. Let's get to the river. They, they won't be so bad there. Mm, so much better. Blueberries, here we come. Go, go, play. Where's the repellent? Here it is. Why does this smell like... Dog perfume? <laughs> P.U. What did you roll in? Sorry, Suki, but you really need this. Uh-oh. It smells like dog perfume. Because it is dog perfume. The bottles were right next to each other. I must have grabbed the wrong one. Let's try and out paddle them. It's working. We lost them. And we found them. I have an idea. Let's pull in over there. Oh, finally. Relief. <sighs> Why does fire keep mosquitoes away? Green willow branches make a lot of smoke, which makes it harder for mosquitoes to smell us. <gasps> My grandmother used to make bug repellent from plants. I wish I could remember the recipe. I'll call Tui. Tui doesn't know my grandmother's recipe. No, but there's this book at the post that tells you what to do in emergencies. Like if you're starving and need to catch a fish with your bare hands. 
And it might have a recipe for mosquito repellent. No signal. I have to get up higher. Any bars? Nope. I need to go higher. Denali Trading Post. Hey, Tui, it's me, Molly. Are you busy? So busy. <coughs> really? <laughs> Kidding. How's the junk picking? At your secret place you won't tell me about? <sighs> Not good. We're totally uh, swamped by mosquitoes. Can you look for a book called Survival Tricks of the North? Sure. Got it. Whoa! This book is as big as a baby seal. I know. That's what makes it so great. I bet there's a recipe in there for a mosquito repellent. Yeah, but it'll take forever to find it. Not if you use the table of contents! Oh, right. Hey, there's a whole chapter on mosquitoes. Page 252. Yeah! It's really long. 2.52. Did you know a single mosquito can lay 300 eggs at a time? Can you hurry? I can't stay in this tree forever. Why are you in a tree? Berries grow on the ground. I'll explain later. Call me when you find the recipe. Okay. Oh, wait. I just saw this documentary on elephants. They cover themselves in mud to keep mosquitoes away. I'll try it. Or maybe it was to keep their skin moist? <laughs> we look like we've been making mud pies. It's not helping. I'm still getting bitten. Me too. Ah, back to the fire! I think it's time to give up on the berry picking and go home. You two stay here while I canoe back and get the truck. No! I promised Auntie Midge I'd make her some muffins. And Tui's gonna call with the recipe any minute. Sorry, hun. We'll try another day. There's a logging trail about 200 yards that way. Meet me there in half an hour. Got it! It's Tui! Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm just calling to say that this is going to take longer than I thought. I still have an inch of pages to go. He still has a whole inch of pages. Oh, and also, I remember that elephants use mud to cool off, not for mosquitoes. Yeah, we figured that out. Molly, has Tui looked in the index? That would save time. Oh, uh, what's an index? It's a list of topics with page numbers. It's usually at the back of the book. Did you hear that? On it. Access, adder. Hey, it's alphabetical. Apples, artists. Tui, I think you want R for repellent. Oh, right, R. Looking for repellent. Repellent. Repellent, mosquito. Page 276. I found the recipe. I'll send you a photo. Woo! Yay! He found it! <sighs> Fantastic! What do we need? Yarrow, stinkweed, marigold, and wild onion. Let's go! This is definitely Yarrow. I found Yarrow, Mom! And here's Stinkweed and Marigold. So now we just need a uh, wild onion. I think this might be it. Can you bring over the picture? That's it. Gotta be. The stalks look the same. <laughs> That's onion, all right. Stinky! So first, you have to squish the plants to get the juices out. That's seed plants. Thank you for helping us fight mosquitoes. 
Just add a little water and time to test it out. I hope this works. <laughs> Pretty pungent, huh? Woo! Come and get me, mosquitoes. Anything? No. I don't hear any buzzing. I'm not getting bitten. It works! works. Woohoo! We don't have mosquitoes. We, we don't, don't have, have mosquitoes. mosquitoes. There's Dad. Can we still go to our berry place since our repellent works? No, hun. It's too late. Plus, I'm way too itchy. <sighs> I hope Auntie Midge isn't too sad about her muffins. Did the mosquitoes follow you? Nope. We made a fantastic mosquito repellent. <laughs> oh, man. What, what a stink. <laughs> no wonder the mosquitoes won't bite you. <laughs> we may have gone overboard on the onions. <gasps> Look! Okay, index. Blueberry cake, blueberry jam, blueberry muffins. I found the recipe. So we didn't get to our super secret blueberry place, but I picked just enough berries to make exactly two muffins. One for Auntie Midge, and the other for us. Thanks for watching the post for us, Tui. Mm-mm-mm. And for finding that recipe. Anytime. Charo, ah, uh, let's eat. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mosquitoes! Mosquitoes! Ow. Oh, there's one the window. <laughs> Someone oh, fell. Oh, oh. Grab the repellent. Hey, everyone. Molly here to answer your questions about life in Alaska. Christina in Virginia asks, how can I learn about wild plants? Let's check it out. We are looking for plants and any interesting things we find, we look them up in our book. Guys, look at that! Fireweed. First, if we know the name of it, we look it up in the index in the very back of the book. And I looked what page it is. Fireweed, page 63. And then I went back to it. Fireweed regenerates soils after forest fires. I didn't know that. Do you guys know what this is? Mm, let's look at that. Maybe it's those roses. You know those like pink roses that have like four petals. That's it. Yeah. Yes, it has five petals. They're pink. Elder. What's it called? Rose, rose hips. hips. There it is. These are the rose hips that we found, and these are what they're supposed to look like. Nature is so fascinating and it has so many different things to look at and to discover that people have not discovered yet. Look at this. It's a type of tea leaf. Labrador tea You should look it up in oh. alphabetical order and it's pretty easy if you know how to spell it. Labrador tea. Right here. The index, it really helps me like find them way quicker than having to look through each individual page and just like keep looking and just know the name. Look down, there it is, know the page, I'm there. Exploring plants in nature is so much fun. Just make sure to bring an adult expert who can help. Masi Cho, thanks for asking and see you next time. Herring eggs or bust? <laughs> oh, Randall, you're such a goofball. <laughs> I'm not showing you eating your lunch on my vlog. Also, you have lettuce in your teeth. <laughs> so how come you're on your boat right now? Isn't it cold in Sitka? Nah, it's springtime down here, and that means it's herring season. Check it out. <gasps> Are you seeing this? I am. Was that a fish? Yeah, that's the herring. Every year they come to Sitka to lay their eggs. Herring eggs. Yum! <laughs> this is me eating herring eggs. Mm, yum, yum. 
You look like a hungry seal. <laughs> I just cut a whole bunch of hemlock branches. Yan. So what I do is I put them in the water, and then the herrings swim up and lay their eggs in the needles. You have all the fun. Hey, why don't you come down to Sitka? You can help me harvest the eggs and film it for your vlog. <gasps> that is the best idea ever! Yes! No. Oh, but come on, please. Why not? It's too far. Sitka's in Alaska. It can't be that far. It's on the ocean, Molly. Four hours by plane. But herring eggs are my favorite food. This is me eating herring eggs. Mm. Yum. Yum. Mm. 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 I thought muktuk was your favorite food. It is. I have two favorite foods. <gasps> Please. It would be so fun. I know, but it's too far to go for just one reason. How many reasons do I need? Two? Three good reasons. Piece of cake, or in this case, piece of whale. <gasps> Mr. Patuk, I have to go to Sika. Only I need three good reasons. So do you have a reason? Something you need from Sika? <laughs> Close that door, would you, Molly? Sure. There. That will help. <laughs> the older I get, the colder I get. So, Mr. Patuk, as I was saying, I have to go to Sitka. Tea, Molly. It will warm your hands. <sighs> Thank you. There is something I need from Sitka. A special tool called a cabinet rasp. Yes! What else? <sighs> well, that's it. Are you sure? Nothing else? Mm, you might see if Tui still wants his fiddle fixed. I would need Sika spruce wood for that. I'll go ask him. Uh, after I finish drinking my tea. <laughs> Ooh, mint. How come you need a fiddle fix? You don't play the fiddle. I know, but I have one. Oscar Meyer said he'd buy it for me if Mr. Patuk fixed it. So, if I get wood for your fiddle, and the tool thing for Mr. Patuk, plus the herring eggs, that's three good reasons to go to Sitka. Come on, let's go find Oscar. I meant now. Give me one sec. What are you doing? I'm checking the table to see which dogs need medicine today. Today is Wednesday. Eye drops. And the eye drops are for... Tacconi. Tacconi! Can't you just remember Tacconi needs eye drops on Wednesdays? Nah, it's easy to forget stuff. The table helps me keep track. Doesn't it, Tacconi? Yes, it does. Okay, Tacconi, hold still. Okay, ready. Yes! Your fiddle sounds so much better than mine, even with the crack. Which Mr. Patuk can fix. So, do you want the fiddle? I do, but not now. Why not? Normally, I play at the cafe on Saturday nights. But right now, that's when I'm helping my grandmother. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't see you there. I thought Auntie Midge was a pile of coats. Shh, you'll wake her up. <laughs> you won't. Her hearing aid is broken, so she can't hear very well. That's how I help her on Saturday nights. Do you know the show, The Butler of Finicky Manor? Uh -oh. No. I watch it with her and tell her what they're saying. I am not requesting you leave, my lady. I am requesting you stay. What? Did he kick her out? No, he wants to marry her. What? She doesn't love you. She loves Percy Adderfish. I know! Until she gets a new hearing aid, I want to stay home and help her. You don't need anything else from Sitka? Actually, I do. Postcards? Yeah, 
Oscar collects them from all over Alaska. We can't fly 600 miles to bring someone a postcard. <sighs> but, Mom, I really need herring eggs. And Mr. Patuk needs a cabinet thingy? I said three good reasons, Molly. So far, the main reason still seems to be that you want herring eggs. Oh. This is me saying goodbye to my favorite food on the planet. My favorite food in the galaxy. You're so dramatic. You should be in the butler of Finicky Manor. What are you doing? Tacconi doesn't need eye drops anymore, so I have to plan out next week's table. If I made a table of all the reasons to go to Sitka, would it convince Mom? It would be more organized. Could I borrow your pad of paper? Sure. Reasons for going to Sitka. Good. Now right across the top, who, what, how many. And now you fill it in. Who, Mr. Patuk, what, a cabinet thingy? Leave it blank for now. How many? Uh, one. See? This is why you make a table, so you don't forget these things. Who? Molly. What? Herring eggs. How many? One bazillion. Hmm. Only two good reasons. I need one more. Yep. Too bad Oscar doesn't need my fiddle. I know. Or does he? I brought you some tea, Auntie Midge. Thank you, Molly. The older you get, the colder you get, right? I just came back from weightlifting, Molly. I'm not cold. Oh. Let's watch TV. Coming up is our recipe for hot diggity doggity barbecue sauce. What are you up to, Molly? I'm offering to watch TV with you on Saturday nights instead of Oscar. Why? If I help you watch your show, then Oscar can play at the cafe, and then he'll buy Tui's fiddle, and Mr. Patuk will need wood to fix it, and I'll get herring eggs. I only caught some of that. If I help you watch your show... No, I got enough. Oscar is good to me. He can't be replaced even by someone clever like you. Oh. Now I'll never get to sit cut and eat delicious herring eggs. <sighs> this is all because my herring egg fell in the caribou stew. Don't know when I can get to a bigger town and buy a new one. <gasps> I do? Very impressive. Hmm. Mr. Patuk, one cabinet rasp. Mr. Patuk, six feet of spruce wood. Auntie Midge, hearing aid? She's our tribal leader. She needs our help. Of course, but we just can't go buy her hearing aid. What kind does she need? What size? Am I early? I brought fry bread. Did I mention she's coming with us? Hey everyone, it's me, Molly, coming to you from way up high in Mom's plane. <gasps> There's Mount Denali! And here's Mom. She's going to let me fly the plane. No, I'm not. Sit back, please. Also with us is Auntie Mitch, who's really excited. Aren't you, Auntie? No, Percy, not her. When we land, Auntie Mitch has an appointment about her hearing, and I have an appointment about herring. <laughs> Get it? On three. Play, dare, not sick. Wow, we! That's gotta be ten gazillion herring eggs. Yum. Hey, Molly, put this in your vlog. I'm Hercules. Hurry, they're heavy. Oh no! Thanks to Randall and to the fish for laying all those eggs. I had the best time in Sitka. Auntie Midge got her hearing aid. Oscar got his postcard. Mr. Patuk got spruce wood and a cabinet rasp. Plus, I saved him a box of herring eggs. Mmm, yummy. 
This is me when I'm not eating herring eggs. I'd better give those to him now. See you next time, everyone. Nino Holt, ya. Denali is made possible in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by viewers like you. Thank you. Masi Cho! Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video Channel.